I'm with my old uh, friend Tom, who has Happy Trails and Adventures, along with his wife Suzanne, have been curating a number of the on-trail adventures with the Okanagan Valley on their e-bikes. And Tom and I have been friends for years, but we both got commonality in our YouTube channels. And you can see we're in the beautiful Okanagan Valley, and it's beautiful day today. It's going to be probably about a high of 20, probably about 29 to 35 today. And for our American friends, it's been as high as 89 to 100 degrees in Kelowna. So, but you'll find how beautiful this area is. So, uh, Tom and I have been sharing a lot of YouTube ideas along with our friends we have from Windy Therapy with Edison Reese and. Finbar O'Sullivan, who's going to have a stay in the adventure trail. But for now, I'm going to be asking Tom a number of questions about his past videos and what's going to happen in the future. So, Tom, tell yeah. me some of your past videos. Well, welcome back to the Okanagan. It's great <laughs> to see you. you. Uh, it's been a long time. Will and I go back uh, many, many years, um, and I consider you as one of my mentors. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, uh, anyway, thanks uh, for this introduction. Our channel is Happy Trails and Adventures. My wife, Suzanne, unfortunately has to work today, uh, so she's not here to join us. But our videos are about uh, exploring our backcountry and the surround, even the city of Kelowna, mainly Okanagan Valley, and wherever our camera takes us to. Sometimes we're in Arizona and we shoot videos down there on, for hiking and things like that. Namely, uh, what we enjoy doing is e-biking. We've uh, gained experience in terms of rail trail riding and e-bikes, so if you like to see that kind of adventures, uh, our latest one is done or is, was shot at Myra Canyon. It's just in the hillside above Kelowna, and it's one of the historic rail or sections of the Kettle Valley Rail Trail. Uh, amazing 18 trestles, two tunnels. It's just an amazing uh, adventure to go on and explore that. So we shot that in October of 23. Beautiful fall colors, and it's safe. It's a world destination for people. When they come there, they cannot believe this historic um, uh, part of the rail line that sits above beautiful Kelowna. As well, we have a brand new rail trail here. It's the Okanagan Rail Trail, which is, is a recent abandoned line that goes from Vernon to basically Kelowna, yet to be linked. There's a few sections near the Kelowna Airport. Uh, and that corridor is just beautiful to ride along. We've shot some videos there on the Okanagan Rail Trail, so you can check those out as well, as well as our experience about renting e-bikes and then finally purchasing an e-bike because of our um, uh, fun that we've had and, and the experience of riding them. So let's get a little snippet of it. It's okay, and I'm, and I'm particularly interested in the e-bike because you know, I'm gonna be getting one this next year for my travels, which you, uh, Tom will talk about, but you know, looking at an e-bike, it's just like everything else, you're paying for a lot of money for you know, some newer piece of equipment, so he's gonna guide me through that, which is great. And I'm gonna appreciate Tom's, hopefully, that the, you know, the uh, tourism uh, Kelowna Association and the city appreciates some of the uh, videos he's been doing and promoting Kelowna. In the meantime, you know, I've, I've got some favorite channels that I push on to other people who move into Kelowna. I say, look at Tom and Suzanne's channel. In the meantime, so in the future, what's your next, what's your upcoming video is going to be now? Well, we're, we're planning to shoot a couple of boating adventures. We also boat on Okanagan Lake, so when it's too hot to go on biking, destinations we tend to be on the water so a little bit about that we are working on another e-bike video though that we shot in the month of May and we're planning to uh, go back to the boundary country southeastern British Columbia Canada for those American viewers that are watching it's that historic area and lots of uh, uh, artifactual how do you say the um, historic sites to see there. Yeah, you know, I remember I remember uh, traveling a bit with my friend Finbar, of course, who's introduced me to the off-roading. He lives up in the uh, boundary country in Penticton Apex and took me to some of those old mining areas. And I didn't realize, you know, you a lot of the foreign workers, Chinese workers coming in 100 years ago, and you got those older cemeteries from all the old pioneers and settlers up there. So if Tom gets up there, uh, that'll be great. And the old gold mines and the mining up there. That, yeah. that would be fun to watch. And uh, so I'm going to be looking forward to seeing his videos and as again, most people that want to move to the Okanagan, um, I give them Tom's videos to say this is what you can do there, you know. I know we have our problems with traffic and everything else that's in Kelowna, but there's so much other areas you can do here to, to enjoy, uh, whether it be on the boat or you're on the e-bikes, which is great. So what's, what other ideas have you got you're thinking but you just can't quite get right now you've been thinking about well as we talked about before when you go shoot a video and yeah. sometimes you 
you are just shooting and then you create a story. I think the thing that I would like to work on, and we talked about this, uh-huh. is, is creating more of a, a storyline um, that's more conclusive to having certain shots put in. But hey, at the end of the day, sometimes uh, you shoot all this epic video and the story tells itself and it's easy to piece together at times. So, um, Especially when you mix a few drone shots in, uh, it shows the beauty, the spectacular, or it takes the... Uh, takes you watching our video to actually ride an e-bike and follow us because we have a drone that's tracking us along the trail or something like that. So oh, that yeah. I mean, I can see you doing that. I mean, and Tom's really invested a lot of the equipment, and uh, and I like my friends that we're growing with. They're all kind of doing similar things. We want to keep on sharing the adventures with ourselves, and this keeps us our communities growing. Tom's community is growing with his subscriber list, so. Please, when you go to the Happy Trails Adventures, to subscribe and comment, because on those algorithms of uh, YouTube, that makes a difference. And also with the other friends, because it's our hobby, but our fun right now. So yeah, we appreciate the support. And yeah, absolutely. Players. So that's actually, that, that's pretty exciting. And I'm glad I'm back for, for the next, well, I'm only here for a few more days than back to Calgary. But in the meantime, I've got, uh, I've got this view to look at. Oh, totally. And, uh, Anyway, thanks for the little chat today. Much appreciated that you stopped by and uh, and uh, to do this. So no, yeah. it's been great. So happy trails and adventures. Thanks, thanks, Will. Appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> How was that? That's awesome. Thanks. <laughs>